For many Iranian families, marriage is built on the premise that parents know best. Marriage is the only acceptable state for those in long-term relationships, and the choice of a spouse is still largely down to the parents. We live in a society where marriage gives you legitimacy. When I got married, I saw that people's attitudes towards me changed. I feel like my extended family, my friends and relations take me more seriously than before. But when marriages fail, social taboos around divorce are changing. The national divorce rate exceeded 21 percent last year, and one in three couples in the capital of Tehran is separated. In 2011, Asghar Farhadi's film A Separation won dozens of international awards for its sensitive glimpse into a family going through divorce. Shahruz Tavakol, a director working on a film about marriage in Iran, sees a deep shift in attitudes about marriage in recent years. The problem is not accepting and denying what is happening in that it stays underground and that the consequences are more serious. You might realize what is happening too late. In recent years, the average age for a first-time marriage shifted from 24 to 25 years for men and went from 18 to 22 years old for women. Iranian officials say that changes in the status of women is a factor. Others blame the fragile economy and youth unemployment for making marriage unaffordable. Some religious leaders are promoting the use of temporary marriages, an exception in the Shia Muslim doctrine that allows a man and a woman to sign a marriage contract for a few hours or several years. One of the solutions that we have in our society to protect our youth is temporary marriage. We have to promote it and help it grow, so that, God forbid, our youth do not deviate towards Western and non-Islamic culture. It's a solution that goes some way to meeting not only evolving needs of modern Iranian couples, but also traditional expectations of religion and parental approval.